5 out of Engineering and Chemical Thermodynamics by Koretsky, the second edition. The problem reads, steam at 8 megapascals and 500 degrees Celsius flows through a throttling device where it exits at 100 kilopascals. Determine the entropy change for the process. So what we're going to be looking for in this problem is change in S universe, the change in S of the system, and the change in S of the surroundings. And so the first thing we're going to do is draw our throttling device. So we're going to have a porous plug in the middle, and then we're going to have an inlet stream and an outlet stream. And we're given that the inlet stream is at 8 megapascals and 500 degrees Celsius, and the outlet stream is at 100 kilopascals. And so the first thing we want to do on this is to do an open system energy balance on the throttling device. And from your open system energy balance equation, you know that uh, the inlet stream is going to have an energy of m.1, which is the mass, times the enthalpy, or the quantity of h hat 1, which is the enthalpy term, plus v1 squared hat over 2, which is the kinetic energy term, plus gz1, which is the potential energy term, and then the stream coming out is going to have a mirror of this term as its energy, so m.2 times h hat 2 plus v2 hat squared over 2 plus gz2. And we're also going to have q coming in and the shaft work coming in. So the first thing that we do is start, start to make assumptions about the throttling device. Um, for a throttling device, you're always going to assume that the plug is too small to allow for um, any kind of heat transfer that's going to be non-negligible. So we're always going to say Q is equal to zero. And shaft work, there's nothing that's doing shaft work on the device. There's nothing to do shaft work. So we're going to say that's zero as well. And then we know the inlet and outlet streams. The problem doesn't mention any uh, significant changes in speed of the streams. So we know that these terms are going to be the same and they're going to cancel out. And then it also doesn't mention any change in elevation or height of the streams. So we're going to assume that the potential energy terms are going to cancel out and become zero. On this equation, we have that m dot 1 h hat 1 is equal to m dot 2 h hat 2. And we know that the mass coming in and out of the throttling device is going to be the exact same, so these terms will cancel. And we're left with h hat 1 is equal to h hat 2. So if you look in the saturated steam tables, you'll find that at 8 megapascals, uh, the steam should be at 300 degrees Celsius. So we know that we're working with a superheated steam here. So if you flip to the superheated steam tables, and you look at the readings under 8 megapascals and at 500 degrees Celsius, it'll give you a value um, where h hat 1 should be equal to 3,398.3 kilojoules per kilogram. And since we know that h hat 1 is equal to h hat 2, we know that h hat 2 is going to be equal to 3,398.3 kilojoules a kilogram. The end goal of this problem is to find the change in entropy. So we're going to do an entropy balance on this process. So our entropy balance equation is change in S of the universe is equal to change in S of the system plus change in S of the surroundings. Of the surroundings is going to be equal to the change in Q over the temperature of the surroundings. And we've already decided that for this process, Q is equal to zero. So this whole term is going to become zero, and we can go ahead and cancel it out of our entropy balance equation. And so we're left with change in S of the universe is equal to change in S of the system. To find the change in entropy for this process, we're going to have the entropy coming out minus the entropy coming in. And we're going to use the steam tables to find these two terms. So S hat 1, um, you can find the same way you found H hat 1. You know it's at 8 megapascals and 500 degrees Celsius. So if you look up in the superheated steam table, you'll find that S hat 1 is equal to 6.7239 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. We do not have the temperature that the stream is at, but we do have that it's at 100 kilopascals. And we do have the enthalpy term, which we found earlier. So if you look in the superheated steam tables, 
under 100 kilopascals and you interpolate between the values above and below h hat 2, you should be able to get a value for s hat 2. And what you end up getting is s hat 2 is equal to 8.668 kilojoules per kilogram. And so if you take the difference between the two enthalpy values, you should get that s hat universe is equal to s hat system is equal to 1.9441 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And so we've solved for the change in S of the universe, the change in S of the system, and the change in S of the surroundings, and we've completed the problem.